I'm Dr. Tony Wilson. I've been at Boys Town uh, since January 2021. There will be uh, two MEG or magnetoencephalographic systems. We're fully installed. This is uh, the magnetically shielded room for uh, MEG1. It's comprised of multiple layers of uh, unique metal uh, alloys that are super highly permeable to magnetic fields. One thing to like compare what we're doing here with uh, MRI. So in MRI, you put someone in a very strong magnetic field, and then uh, we manipulate that field to take uh, images of the brain. Here, we're isolating the person from uh, what's normally present in the environment, normal, normally in regards to magnetic fields, and then seeing what magnetic fields naturally come off their brain, and then using that to monitor brain function. So this is the actual system we were talking about. So uh, once it's in the room, uh, currently it's in the um, supine position, so the patient's head would be positioned here, They'd be fully in there. Their eyes would be looking up at the ceiling. And so usually in this position, the patient's uh, um, at rest. So we're just recording what the brain's doing uh, when the person's not engaging in cognitive activity. Um, it doesn't make any noise, as I said. So you know, right now it's totally silent when it's actually in the room, uh, fully operational. The, it'll be the, um, exactly the same, completely silent. Inside the helmet, uh, there'll be 306 sensors. Uh, the sensors will be bathed in liquid helium, so negative 452 degrees Fahrenheit. So ultra, ultra cold. That allows them to be super conducting. So the magnetic fields we were talking about, the um, super minute ones, they'll uh, uh, hit those sensors and induce currents. And those currents are the actual signal that uh, electric currents that we're, we're quantifying, that we're recording. And we can use those to figure out precisely uh, what parts of the brain are active. The first, the, the day we actually opened will be the only institute in the world uh, to have two MEG NEO devices. Uh, so those are the latest uh, MEG devices currently available. Um, there's a handful of institutions that have uh, one. Uh, no, no other institution in the world has two. And then even in the, um, the United States, there's really only a um, uh, limited number of NEOs. So one of ours was actually the fourth device in the United States uh, to be installed. And um, so we're really excited by that. It really gives us a unique opportunity to uh, help children and families in this region. The, um, in regards to how it's uh, impacting uh, the medical, the Pediatric Neuroscience Initiative in particular, uh, it really changes our epilepsy program and our neurosurgical program. It allows us to have a much more uh, cutting edge and precise approach uh, to these um, uh, diagnosis and, and uh, surgical procedures related to these diseases.